Hey there, collectives, and welcome back for another daily message, collective daily message. This is a general, it's not going to be for everybody, so only take the part that fits and disregard the rest. I hope this video finds you absolutely amazing, okay? So check it out. We're pulling from the New Orleans Oracle today because I'm feeling kind of New Orleans, New orleans -y vibe, okay? So your overall energy is speak your truth. Somebody needs to talk. There's a whole lot of things that need to happen here through a conversation. Somebody's spirit say you speak your truth is going to transform your situation here. It could also represent you need to be mindful about the words that you speak. Don't speak what you don't want to happen, but be truthful. You know what I'm saying? Speak your truth, which is what you want, your desires. Speak your truth collective is your overall energy, is your today's message. So it's telling you. It says, being aware of your feelings is one thing, but learning how to express how you feel in a calm and balanced manner can sometimes be a challenge. It is important to understand that speaking your truth does not mean that it will be understood or accepted by others, and it doesn't need to be. The only thing that matters is that you are able to give your feelings a voice and acknowledge how you truly feel. The more you are able to acknowledge and identify how you genuinely feel, the stronger the relationship you have with yourself will become. Uh, it is not about being right or wrong. It is simply about knowing and practicing what it means to honor yourself through verbal communication. Now collective is the time to speak truly, truth freely. Spirit telling somebody, you need to talk. I know when I grew up, that's all I used to hear too, because it was so freaking true, but I was so bashful. I'm talking about, I was so bashful to my own demise, but what they used to always tell me is a closed mouth don't get fed. <laughs> and they were like, well, I remember when I used to be, when I was young and I was dating and I wanted things, but I was too scared to ask for it. I was scared, y'all. And I used to have the guys, the older gentlemen, because I always, always date the older guys. They used to always, I guess they were trying to teach me. It's like, look, baby, closed mouth, don't get fed. How am I going to know you won't? How am I going to know you hungry? But I felt like I shouldn't have to ask you. <laughs> Should you? I'm just saying, you know, I got to eat. <laughs> and I'm just saying, extra always comes in handy, don't it? If you think I'm good, then make me better. <laughs> Stand in your truth. Maybe somebody don't know how you feel until you tell them. Huh? Maybe somebody ain't acting right and they think you are right with it. Maybe somebody ain't doing. Maybe somebody ain't. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> maybe somebody ain't doing it right. How about that? Okay. Somebody may need to be open and. Un well, somebody could be a pushover. It's time for you to stand up for yourself. You may be in a relationship where they're where they're dominating you and they order for you. And you're like, <laughs> last time I ate that stuff, I was constipated. <laughs> I told you, give me heartburn. <laughs> well, it's nothing like a dominating woman. I, I guess it's, it's perks for everybody like their everybody's everybody has their own personal preference and some people will want what what will not work for one person somebody is going to find it a heaven sent but if you find yourself being pushed over or overlooked you maybe need to ask somebody for more money you may need to tell them kids you ain't babysitting god damn it <laughs> like look y'all got me last time <laughs> You say you were just going to run to the store and you've been gone for two days. <laughs> it's time for you to speak up for yourself because with all of this, I feel like it's going to transform your situation here. Somebody's throat chakra needs to be, you may need to sing. You may need to hum. Speak your truth so that you can activate that throat chakra. Somebody got you effed up. <laughs> you need to speak and let them know. <laughs> So let's see, collective, what your day, because so far you got to speak up. Overall energy is the, is all these right? The magician in the reverse. The hangman. Nine of wands. Seven of pentacles in the reverse. Knight of wands. Eight of swords. 
star card, ace of cups. Wow. Mm. Hierophant in the world, upright, 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 all right. So this is why spirit is telling somebody you need to speak your truth because they taking your kindness for weakness. And for others, this is a romantic relationship where you're dealing with somebody here. You got all the red flags. You already know what time it is, but you somebody not saying nothing. Somebody could expect for you to always go in your pocket and pay for everything. And you like, God dang, you work just like I do. <laughs> something is not right until something changes. And sometimes the change could come. Um, there's a new opportunity for something real or something new. Maybe somebody needs to get out of a situation and they're, they're scared to leave. Somebody may be scared to leave a, a situation that does not serve their highest good. And Spirit is telling you, once again, a closed mouth doesn't get fed. If you feel like you're in a situation and it's not giving you what you need and they only, they the only ones being happy. No, nah, that's a one sided relationship and love ain't got nothing to do with that. Somebody could feel feel like they're not able to manifest or things are not happening. And it could be because of somebody not speaking up. This could be job related where you feel like you're just as talented. But, you know, people may be taking advantage of, you know, somebody somebody always may be calling you and asking you to take them somewhere. But they ain't never offering you no gas money. They just assume <laughs> because look, it ain't personal. It don't matter how much you love somebody unless you're in a relationship. But even then, there's a way you have to do it. You can't assume that, you know, because look, if somebody's taking you around, not only are they sacrificing their time, but they're doing it on their dollar. Somebody could have some ungrateful family members or a partner here that all they do is take. And, and, and up until now, you ain't said nothing and ain't nothing changed because you ain't said nothing. So Spirit said it's time for somebody to stand up for yourself and put it out there. And Spirit said, it ain't got nothing to do with, a, with, with you speaking your truth. It's how you speak your truth. When you speak in your truth, you can be just as confident and just as bold and courteous and respectful. Because you'll get somebody's attention when you do it like that. But when you're going to speak your truth and you cussing and yelling, it's nothing, it's nothing's going to change. So let's see. And you may be justified. You may be at your wit's end. But before you get to that point, because you obviously got something new here. So let's see. <laughs> Why is the magician card in the reverse? Speak your truth. What is the speak your truth in the magician? If somebody needs to talk about doing some spell work or somebody needs to say that they were manipulating, their manipulation is no longer working. There go the hermit. Soul searching. I feel like somebody's trying to figure out why things are not happening for them. Somebody may not be able to manifest and somebody's trying to figure out what's going on. <clears throat> and I feel like somebody's going to find out that the relationship or the company that they keep is trying to hold them back. See, king of wands in the reverse. Somebody's dealing with a toxic, uh, a toxic energy. <clears throat> Could be a lot of masculine. Somebody's dealing with a lot of masculines. Could be masculines with masculines. Or somebody here just into themselves, ooh, but they go to judgment. I feel like that's somebody's truth. Somebody got to stand up for themselves. Somebody got to hurry up and make, their, make up their mind what they want to do. For somebody, your truth is that you need to choose between people. <clears throat> Why is the hangman here? But for some of y'all, all some somebody's options is not good, though. Somebody may be needed to just start completely over. Because they go to six of ones in the reverse. I feel like nothing is being successful. There's delays until some. It's almost like nothing is going to change till you make it change. But they go to tower. So it's going to come down or it's already happening. There it is. The devil card. See, spirit is saying that something is going to come down because it has to. Spirit says something been holding somebody up for a very, very long time and somebody got comfortable with it. And so now the universe is going to step in and help you so that you can start over new somewhere else. They go to Ace of Cups, see, and somebody may be feeling like their whole world is falling apart, but it has to in order for something better to happen. Why is the nine of wands here? <clears throat> somebody may have gotten comfortable. Somebody may have got codependent on a toxic situation. <clears throat> nine of wands, five of cups. See, there is a lot of regret. There's a lot of sorrow because somebody feels like they're missing something. 
but there go the eight of cups. So I feel like somebody needs to be reassured that it's okay to let it go. But I feel like somebody did not want to let it go, but I feel like they had to because it had ran its course. And you, you got, you got something else supposed to happen for you. You did all you can do with the particular situation. Now it's time to embark on something new. <clears throat> they go to King of Pentacles. Some of y'all may be leaving a job. This could have been a karmic, toxic relationship. Somebody here was need to ground themselves. Could be a Capricorn, a Scorpio, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Pisces, Aquarius. And they go to seven of wands. Here, somebody may be standing up for themselves. This could be somebody standing up for themselves. See, somebody may feel the need to stand up for a relationship too. Somebody may feel the need to stand up for a relationship too. Seven of pentacles in the reverse. <clears throat> Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Queen of Wands in the reverse. And there go that Two of Cups. Somebody may have a hard time standing up to their partner because they're in love with them. <clears throat> but their partner is toxic. I feel like that's going to come to an end or it already has and somebody needs to stop trying to make it work because there's somebody may be so caught up or just used to it but they're not happy. Somebody's having a hard time walking away from a toxic situation, even though it's over. But you do have an opportunity to start over. See, the death could be a Scorpio. See, it's coming to, it's, it's ending. It could be, it could be an unhealthy situation that never grew into anything real. Could have been a third party that was interfering into something else. Somebody's walking away from third party energy. They go justice. Whatever the third party is, whatever the negative influence is, somebody's finally standing up for themselves with the judgment card and speaking their truth. Knight of Wands in the verse. Somebody could have been out here living that type of lifestyle and they're tired of it. And somebody may be realizing they're going to have to change. Knight of Wands, see, they go to Sun card. They go to Enlightenment right there. Facing reality, new beginnings, and they go to Justice card. See, somebody's changing. I feel like these third party karmics is not getting it for them anymore. <coughs> Don't come for me, people. It's a general, but I'm just flowing. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody's taking stock. Nothing came of it. Somebody could have been in love. This party started off as friends with benefits, especially with their King of Pentacles here. And somebody's realizing that. It's over. But the person that's benefiting is not going to want it to be over. You know that. Somebody having a hard time letting it go. But I feel like this King of Pentacles ain't backing down this time. Somebody made up in their mind that they out. See? King of Cups in the reverse. <clears throat> Could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Somebody don't want to work things out. Somebody just want justice and they want to be gone. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Some things you can't work out no more. I feel like these situations that's very, very karmic and toxic, they're going to come down to the point where you cannot rebuild it. You got to move on, okay? People got to let go of these codependent, toxic connections because, like I say, if, if the universe don't step in, people just continue to keep on doing the same old thing over and over and over again. And they're not learning their lessons. So even though, you know, we all have our free will when it's destiny and when things are supposed to change, it's going to change around you. And we, either you need to catch up with the times or you're going to find if you stay stuck in that toxic situation, you're going to realize it just gets worse and worse and worse. It don't get better. You end up hating the person that you're with and it becomes really, really volatile. So this is somebody here realizing that the love is gone with that King of Cups in the reverse. I feel like somebody's realizing that this was toxic love or that they were in love with love. Probably maybe they were in lust, but somebody's freeing themselves. Eight of Swords in the reverse.
Somebody could have been in somebody's head because they were in. See, <clears throat> with this Knight of Wands in the reverse, somebody was out here like that. They were toxic. So quite naturally, they went and they attracted another toxic person. They got stuck with that person. But somebody is waking up here. Somebody is not only speaking their truth, their truth could be their new reality of what they choose to see. It's almost like the wool is coming down. No one is no one is deceptive. You can't hide behind stuff anymore. Things are things are being exposed because the sun is here in the tower. And now people are really getting a up close and personal look at the person that they're with and they're realizing I don't want that. Especially if they've been manipulated by spell workers. I see a lot of love spells, but it don't work no more because somebody waking up. Somebody, somebody, somebody attracted these karmics because they were karmic, but they, they, they want to change. Eight of swords in the reverse. For, see, somebody pulled all the way back and they focusing on themselves. Eight of swords in the reverse. A lot of swords. See, four of pentacles. Somebody finna hold back. Because with that seven of pentacles, this is somebody here who invested a lot to nonsense, to not have anything to show for it. <laughs> oh, they go to Queen of Swords in the reverse. Oof. I feel like this is why this King of Pentacles is showing up with these Seven of Wands, because somebody know that they really have to fight their way out of this connection. A lot of people is trying to hold this King of Pentacles down, but it's not working no more. See, it don't work no more. Somebody used to give, 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 but they ain't giving no more because somebody is living in their truth. I feel like the manipulation, the spell work is not working anymore. And whoever was getting the spell work done on them is coming out swinging. And they taking all they shit that they work for with them. They're not falling for the gold diggers anymore. They put them under them illusions that they soul mates. They've been putting them under illusions. See, they've been under these illusions. And the only reason why they falling for the illusions because they themselves wasn't in the right energy. They attracted it. But this is coming to an end. See? See, they, they, they thought they had something. They really thought they had something, but they, but they was under illusions until now. See, that's what's going on. They ain't falling for it no more. They're coming out of it. They're waking up. The star card in the reverse. And then, then these reversals, somebody, somebody could have been very, very generous. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like somebody cutting off a lot of folks, especially financially here. You got the queen of wands and the queen of swords. Somebody's not going to like it because somebody's, look, they ain't giving out nothing else. See, they, they didn't went totally MIA, but you got the towel on the day. It's almost like when somebody, it's almost like somebody, th these karmics are not going to see it coming it's gonna be instant it ain't no well baby can you give me a little time can, 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 can you leave the no no it's gonna be instant okay it's instant they ain't got time to prepare it's happening instantly because they, they these times is up see it's happening instantly see spiritual somebody's waking up you know waking up it's like a light bulb comes on see here it is here's the light bulb see Somebody realized that they were settling, that, 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 that they wasn't getting treated right. They said they were doing, they, somebody's realized that they were doing themselves an injustice because they needed to work on themselves with that devil card. They were attracting it. They were attracting it. But the same person is coming out swinging now because of that judgment. And everybody who used to reap the benefits of this person it's feeling some type of way because it don't work no more. You got the star card. They're losing hope. The magician in the reverse. They can't use children to manipulate the sea. It ain't working no more. The five of ones in the reverse. It's not working. Somebody time is up.
they, I'm talking about they, 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 they coming, they coming away from under the spell work, the illusions. And they don't like it. See, now the seven of pentacles is in the upright. See, somebody feel like things should come out. Somebody's taking stuff. See, there it is. Nine of pentacles. See, but this is part of their journey and to learn. Somebody may be pulling all the way back now because this is part of their lesson here. This, this is how somebody is maturing, is having to go through it first. You got the magician card twice. Spirit has been dealing with these masculines here. See, they go to magician in the reverse. Somebody probably been doing some soul searching. This is how they're, this is how they're being able to be free because somebody was tired of, of their life, tired of these karmic situations. They, they, somebody was tired. And this is how they're able to have, um, see, judgment in the tower. And whoever else been leeching, hooked up with them for the wrong reason, started off as a one night stand and ended up, could have been ended up seven years, up to seven years. See there? But what took seven years to get in, like Spirit says, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come down instantly. It took a long time. It's like somebody felt stuck in a toxic situation, but it's going to end very, very quickly, okay? Because they coming in, somebody want real love. So now you got the Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here for the daily message for the collective? Ace of Cups. These karmics putting these spells on these masculines make them think that that's my soulmate. Everybody had ups and downs, but the whole time they using them and gold diggers and manipulating them. But 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 it's kind of like they're see see I told you. Now somebody can have real love. Now they go to Queen of Cups with the Ace of Cups. See, because that Queen of Swords and that Queen of Wands in the reverse, they was coercing against that King of Pentacles. Somebody probably was going to this person uh, to get some some something done on this person, but somebody free. Page of Pentacles, see? Somebody's moving towards peace, this Queen of Cups, see? Somebody already, see, it's love here for this purpose. And like, if you finna stand up for yourself, see, there it is again, the Ace of Cups, like I said, see? And there go the Wheel of Fortune, see? It's changing, y'all. These, these, look, that, that's what they doing a lot of. They doing a lot of these spell works. They, 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 they like getting bosses. They like getting toxic bosses who's for the mess, see? That's what they like. See, this type of energy is, is what attracts this type of energy. So it's all a part of their lesson. And this is how they, they become entrapped from illusions because they're already in that energy. But it's not working anymore because somebody does not like their life. Somebody realized they're going to have to tap in. Some changes need to be made here, see? Something needs to change. I'm not happy. See? They said they ain't, they ain't winning. <laughs> the devil, the six of wands, and the eight of pentacles, they, they're not finding the right partners because they are attracting who they are. Now somebody is instantly leaving the karmics in search of new love because it is their destiny. It is somebody's destiny. Somebody is finna follow their destiny. Once they leave their karma, they leaving the karma, they leaving them instantly, y'all. Some of them got stuck with these karmas because they were arrogant, they were prideful, and they left themselves open for that, you know, kind of like their karma. But everything has its expiration date. But I feel like whoever this person is, they were tired. Their soul needed to be fed because they were being drained spiritually and financially, and they didn't even love this person. All right, Collective, that's your daily message. Please like, share, and subscribe.